So what we want to do is, in fact, SQL might not be an issue in this case, because what we might want to do is we might want to check whether this UH either equals U or equals H before we perform this query. So we've grabbed the value UH. What we can do now here is above the query, we can check if UH, the variable, is equal to either a small u, which will it'll, it'll automatically be small because of the str to lower, or will it be an H? So we can say if UH is equal to a u, or UH is equal to an H, then um, we can run we can run all of this code here so down to there and now let's indent everything again so we can view it properly so if the submitted variable which is here is equal to a u or an h perform the query um, let's just test by putting in else must be u or h um, so let's refresh to here so if we would select healthy um, right okay um, all right okay yeah so we're, we're, we're performing this static so that basically means that we, it's worked um, we're not selecting this data just yet because we haven't input it into the query but just imagine that this is a confirmation just to say yes that it's worked um, if we click healthy again we still receive this uh, message however if we were to modify this up here to say a must be u or h or in fact something that might be um, uh, classed as a some, you know some kind of um, an SQL injection uh, we are supplying this error message but what we can do for now is take out this error message because we don't really want to give away too much how our program works so let's go back up and now we need to do something about this query because at the moment it's selecting this ice cream uh, row and this is useless because we're allowing the user to input um, a value but we're selecting a query based on our static um, preset um, conditions here so now what we want to say is we're going to get rid of this and calories here we want to say where healthy unhealthy equals a certain value so this value is going to be uh, UH because remember the user is submitting here a value which is put into UH we're making sure it equals U or H then we're performing a query but this time instead of putting U or H in ourselves we're supplying the value of this variable so now if the user was to click on healthy the value of the um, of this UH here submitted will be uh, H it will go back into PHP we're doing the relevant checks here we're grabbing the variable here converting it to lowercase checking if it's equal to UH and then putting it into the query so not only have we allowed the user to input their own value we've thought about the structure of our program in the fact we need to check this before it's set we need to then set it into a variable then we need to check then we put it into the query and follow on by producing a list of all food which is either healthy or unhealthy so now what we've done is we've created a dynamic query so let's go back to index.php and see if this works so we want to choose a food type we'll choose unhealthy first of all and click submit you can see that we've pre now produced a list ice cream has 700 calories pizza has 1000 calories so they're the two unhealthy values inside our database so we've got uh, u and u which is pizza and ice cream what we can then do is select healthy click submit this value up here changes therefore the, the query changes and we've selected the um, healthy food in our database so this is how we can combine user input and it could be text based input it can be um, like drop down list input like we've done the select input um, it could be absolutely anything you could even press a button just to grab some values um, it's all about combining what knowledge you have of the post and the get variables and then inserting the data that's been submitted into a query. Now like I mentioned before this can be dangerous. We can have something happen called SQL injection and that's when the value that's put into the database 
might equal um, might come through as um, um, another part of a query. For example, if this uh value was equal to, um, let's just go up here, was equal to um, a semicolon, uh, sorry, a, a, a single quotation mark, um, or, and this is the, this, this what I'm typing is the value of uh, or nothing equals nothing, Okay, so that's say that's what the user typed into a text area box. That would then be substituted into here, uh, sorry, without that extra one. And you can see how just by inputting this data into there, which would not be usually be there. So a user types this here into a text box and puts it into here. We've automatically changed the query. Nothing does equal nothing, so this query will always evaluate to true. And this is just a, an example, however, it can be dangerous. So you need to think about the checks that you do before you perform a query in a program. That's very important. When you're practicing, not so much, but I can, I can, you know, I'll warn you now that this is a good practice to get into, making sure that people can't inject their own SQL into your query, hence the name SQL injection. But this has been a quick tutorial or a longer tutorial on uh, how to allow user input to create your query um, more dynamically.